Hello and welcome to the final classic match on World Championship Snooker 2004. Thank you for the incredible support on this series. We will be starting up uh, our World Snooker Championship 2005 career mode um, next Monday. So make sure you are around for that. That's going to be an absolute cracker. Uh, I can't wait to do a season on that classic game. I might even release it this Friday. Uh, if I feel like it. So yeah, uh, leave a like if you have enjoyed this. Today we've got the final match, as I say, uh, with Mark Williams versus Ken Doherty in 2003. Looking at the match information, uh, the final score was 18-16. The objective is, of course, to beat uh, former world champion Ken Doherty. We are 16 all uh, with Williams to break. So without further ado, Let's get into it. It has been an absolute blast to play this game again. And uh, the, 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 there's just a certain charm of the old snooker games that uh, the, certainly the new one hasn't had, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that's hopefully going to come in the years following. But uh, here we go. Ready and raring to go. The 2003 World Championship Final was a dramatic battle between Mark Williams, a man too good to lose, and Ken Doherty, a man refusing to lose. Williams took an early lead, but Doherty kept fighting back all the way through the match. We joined the match at 16 frames all. Williams under great pressure. Two frames are required for Williams to secure his second world crown and the treble of UK Championships, Masters and World Championships in a single season. Williams to break. Here we go then. It's going to be an absolute cracker this one. Really looking forward to it. And of course Ken Doherty uh, had a lot, a lot of deciders this year. And I think it's actually the record for... Uh, the most frames played in a world championship was held by him. It just felt like it was meant to be for Ken, but uh didn't turn out to be the case in the end. But uh, hopefully... Nice break from the man at the table. Hopefully we manage to... continue history the way it's gone. Um, and Mark Williams to win his second title. A little bit nervous about this one. I'm going to have to hit this quite thick to get it back down the table. So, a little bit of pressure on this. Where's the cue ball gone? That's all right. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Look at that. <laughs> if it goes in, Ken might end up winning the frame, but he comes to the table. What's he going to do with this? Could he pop the red into the right corner pocket? No, oh, he's played safe. Looks all right. But he has left a pot he's for the Welsh potting machine. Good safety shot there. So, unfortunately, uh, the controller seems to be playing up a little bit, but it's okay. This is a a really tough shot. Just got to absolutely drop it in. Dead weight. Keep popping the balls. Like I said last episode, on this difficulty, you know, the main priority is popping the balls. That looks good. It's there. That's an absolute crack of a pot. Well, you could hear a pin drop in here. Everyone is glued to the action. Just drop the pink in. Seven. It'd be good to maybe move that black and get it onto the yellow spot. Certainly wouldn't complain about that at this point. Lots of power on this. Just a little bit of jack up in the air to pot this and screw back. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Just 
just keep you on the edge of your seats. Yeah, of course, uh, you can't use the overhead view on normal aim and difficulty. Sometimes a bit of a problem, but should be able to drop this in all right. Yeah. That's all right. 13. And actually, we're going to bring the, the black spot into play here, so... Starting to turn into a decent chance, if not spectacular. <coughs> so I need to stun up for the, the black into the opposite corner pocket. Nice, easy pot. It's okay, what? we've got the, the cheap blue, if we need it. Hoping we'll be alright though, I think. Yeah, I think I'm fairly confident of potting this, so just drop it in. Should end up on a red. There's plenty to go at. Oh, that's pretty good. He's done well to put that one in. Amazingly, we've landed in about the only place that it's tricky to pot a red. This isn't the easiest shot. So, just got to drop it in. Try not to worry too much about position. And it's a good pot. 22. Good pot. Got a nice long straight blue. It's pretty good. That's a top spin. We can't see because he's in the way. <laughs> Get out of the way, Mark. 27. No, that's okay. That red along the bottom cushion does go. Might be an opportunity to get rid of it, actually. So... Let's, let's do that. Mm. 28. I regret it now. <laughs> we were guaranteed position from the, the other red, but uh, yeah, I might just have to play safe here. I think the, the green is just a little bit too risky. So... That'll do nicely. I think it's fair to say that this match will be going down in the pages of history. I think you can just flick this red. No issue there. No, oh, cue ball nearly went in though. Good That's safety a play. Good mistake from Ken, because we can. Just about get to enough of this. As I say, just got to be careful not to hit this too thin. It's a difficult shot on this difficulty. Yeah, good pot though. One. Good pot and now perfect onto the black, so... What a chance. <laughs> to... Take this frame and go 17-16 in front. Eight. Okay. So, good position here. Apologies about that, just need to put my headphones on charge. So I can actually hear the, the dulcet tones of Ted Lowe. Nine. And the referee, of course. 
This might be the last time I ever play this game. Who knows? I'm sure. Well, I'm sure I'll be back at some point playing this. <sighs> wow, that <laughs> straightforward but there. That red, uh, that black wobbled. And usually, when they wobble on this game, they don't go in. So we're not going to get another get out of jail free card like that. That was ridiculous. We have got a plant. This game does like a plant. There it goes. Oh! Oh! oh the cue ball! <laughs> wow! The cue ball would have went in. <laughs> but the other red stopped it. Wow, that was uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> I think I wanted another look at that. Oh my word, that was crazy. Let's have another look at this one. Let's see that again. Look at that. <laughs> I still don't know how that white didn't drop, but that that's crazy. I said we wouldn't get another get out of jail free card. There's another one for you. We knocked the blue in. Good shot. Now then. Decisions, the decisions. standard of play here is absolutely superb. The audience are getting a real treat. Possibly the best one to go for. Looks about right. Oh no, it's missed. Well, what a chance we've left. The 1997 world champion here. That was very close. And crafty. One. We're well up for this. Don't think the black goes, so... He's playing the green. Can he not see the, the pink? No, misses the green, so a no, big let off there. Not there. This makes things interesting. Yeah, well. There you go. Unbelievable, really, isn't it? That's, uh, we're back at the table, having conceded only one point. One. Pretty much there now, just the black and one more red required. Yeah, lovely shot. Eight. Lovely shot. So just the red required. To go one frame away from winning Mark Williams' second world title. And there it goes. There Nine. it goes. Chance to smack the back of the pocket with a pink as well. Fifteen. Absolutely lovely. What's the scores on the doors? Sixty-five points the lead. So let's give it a give it a little go at the cocktail double. Why not? No sentry break possible, so there's no point really playing on. But let's have a little look and see if the cocktail comes off. Here it comes round. Nah, slid too much. Slid too much. But uh, Ken will concede there, really and we're now just one frame away. At the top of their game. Oh well, he is playing on. For f four snookers here. You wouldn't see that in Snooker 19, would you? One. But surely he'll concede now because he's not on the black. Yep, yeah, there you go. He does concede. And now just one frame away. 17 16. Good solid break there. It's a good one. Can we get to this red though? <laughs> Can we get no? We can't. There's a possible shot to nothing here. I don't think we'd hit the black. 
I might be wrong. I think we can sort of screw screw round the black. Come back round the table. Here we go. Well, <laughs> we didn't manage it, but the red went in. One. So it's okay. We left ourselves a very tricky situation now. I might just try and drop the, the blue in, leave Ken a tricky opening red. Oh, cue balls oh. went in. Well, what a pity. It was a good pot as well. And now we've left Ken a, a gettable opener. So here he comes. I'd love to get on to the black, but I don't think it goes. Mm, he misses the red. So, could that be Ken's last shot? If we get good on the blue here, it might well be. Lots of screw back on this. Oh. He's done well to put that one in. Boy, got the angle to do what we wanted to can push around the table here it's pretty much perfect six that'll do nicely see if it allows me to put this in yep yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, just lots of top spin. I think we'll do it here. Let's go for it. Straight into the reds. Oh, missed them. Where's the green going? Oh, unbelievable. Unlucky unbelievable. There. Yeah, I needed just a hint of check side there to bring them all into play but can Ken knock this in he's missed a couple so far not that one though one but good luck at getting into the reds here oh, he's playing the pink well, I didn't think that went but it did Seven. and he has got a red out into play maybe two yeah two reds into play So, good little chance to maybe force a decider here. Eight. Blue into the reds. Will he fancy it? Mm, he's playing the green, so I think he's just screwing back for that red into the right corner. Nice, easy pot. But, perfect position to bring another red into play, maybe two. Don't want to hit it too hard. Played it he's really done. well. But he's got a very tricky pot coming up here. This is a tough black. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 19. Right into the heart of the pocket. So three more loose reds for Ken. And he's playing these really nicely. He should have no trouble with this shot. Well, I don't know if this black cuts in. Well, he thinks it does. Is he going to go into the reds? Uh, I think he tried. Well that... Here comes the cue ball. Well, he's on the red. He's now 37 points in front. This red puts him 38. Can he get a nice angle on the black? 
He's gone up the blue. Too far. 36. Too far. I don't think he'll fancy the blue. Yeah, just dropping the brown in, I think. Nice, easy part. Yeah. 40. I don't think there's any plants in there. I wouldn't be surprised with the AI on this game that if he flukes one here, but here we go. Just the safety. Well, it's okay. He's not giving away it's anything certainly, with that shot. It's certainly a lot better now that he's uh, made the black difficult. One good pot here, and we could put him in a lot of trouble if we get this cue ball back to the bulk. Straight forward, we go. Pot that's there. all right. Where's the brown going? Oh, that One. was on track for the pocket, wasn't it? Shots can we like get this it behind the brown? No problems for players of this quality. I think we can. I think we can. This could be an almost impossible snooker to get out of. Try and sneak it behind. Oh, well, look at that. Tough shot here. I'm not sure how he's going to get out of this. Surely this is almost impossible. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. I can't believe he got out of that. <laughs> well, unbelievable. I thought that was the match winning shot right there. But apparently not. Straight forward pot there. One. But if we can get three reds, three colours. And then get a really good snoot here. That could be the winning shot. Seven. How's our luck? Eight. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I can't believe how good that snooker was behind the brown. He just got down and played it. Fourteen. But I'm far away here from. Right back into this. Can we pot this red from here? Because if we can, no, we can't. So that red it, it, it isn't potable. Um, no matter what, really. So red colour, red, good snooker. That's what we want. Fifteen. Or well, potentially we play the cannon here. Get the cannon, it might work out very nicely. Just don't know if we've quite got the angle, unfortunately. No, apparently not. 21. So. We've got to pop this red. Get the cue ball back to the bulk and hopefully snooker them behind the brown again. This looks pretty good. Yeah. 22. We can do it. We can do it. It's maybe even an easier opportunity this time. Yep, yeah, here we go. Might be too hard. Yeah, That's too a hard. good safe shot. 
nearly put the cue ball to be honest. It's not bad. Just playing the layup. Players of this quality don't often Ooh. foul like that. Oh, what a pity. <coughs> Can we get the cue ball in behind the brown here? We'd be able to. <coughs> Fine. Surely there's half a chance. Oh, well, we've knocked it in, and I think it's a free ball. Everything. Oh, false continue. <laughs> yeah. And now, I think it's, it's worth going for this. Here we go. Oh, it's there! It's wobbled in! One. <laughs> well, what a moment that could be. But the question is, how do I get onto the yellow? Don't... Yeah, I suppose the blue's the, the best option. Don't like powering the pink into the middle. I think that's a disaster waiting to happen. Here we go then. Big shot. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So yellow, green, brown blue, pink and black for the World Championship for the final time in this career or not career, in this series Eight. Eleven. now this is the key shot always the key shot Brown to blue. Here we go. That'll 15. do, you know. That'll do. A little bit of top spin. Oh, going to be a bit twixt in between. 20. Well, just the roll up it is then. Seven points behind, 13 on the table. Don't think you can cut that in. Oh, apparently, you can. Oh, no, no, I, th I thought he was getting down to just knock it in. Oh dear, um, this is such a tough shot coming up. I think we 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 got to play the the roll up here. The the percentages. There's no value in us missing it and leaving him on. And we can just play the the absolute slow roll up. Yeah, that's fine. Again, a little bit too close to play any sort of pot, I think. Oh, I thought. Well, he knocks it in. Six. Unbelievable. So it is going to be a decider. Six. And there you go. So Ken wins the frame, and it's now a decider.
17 all. Oh, and I think this is a bit short. I always forget. Luckily, well, I thought we hadn't left the red. I think we have. Yeah, and he's One. brought the black into play. Okay, he's not on a colour, but he's got a half chance. And it's a nice pot. Six. No position. Second safety shot. Good safety play. I think he's left at least one pot here. That red. Can we see this one? We can, but I don't think enough to pot it, so. Yeah, this is the red. This is the way. <laughs> here we go. In the decider. Yeah, cracking opening red. One. All applause from this. This should be an who easy obviously shot. want uh, crafty to win. <laughs> so here we go, blue in and out of bulk. Straightforward pot there. That's pretty good. Six. So need to get the the black back on its spot. These players are really proving that they're at the top of their game. So, that's a screw back. Obviously not going to get the black on the spot this time, but... So, a bit Seven. too much screw, I think. We're okay. Just going to... Punch this yellow in, white off the cushion, should go near the reds. Where's the blue going? It's okay. Yeah, that's Nine. fine. That's absolutely fine. How straight are we on this red? Oh, we're on this red. That's an even better one to go for because it brings the black spot area into play. That's alright. Ten. Got the black here. So I just need to drop this in. Absolutely dead weight. It's there. Seventeen. Good pot. And then we're Possibly two good shots away. Yeah, need this one to get onto the black, and then black onto the next red. He's and done well to put that one in. Mm, it's not very good, unfortunately. And what is good news is that the aimonade doesn't seem to have shortened too much, which is good. So lots of top spin into the reds. Try and bring them into play. Here we go. Black's in. Where's the cue ball? Oh, it's okay. 25. It's okay. <laughs> Time to drop this in. Dead weight. End up on the black. Lovely. 26. Now, deep screw, I think, into the reds. Let's see. The other day. Oops, probably not that much screw. That looks good. Should come off the side cushion straight into the reds. Plenty of momentum. 
Oof. We on anything? Thirty-three. Well, I think we might be on one to the left corner. There's been little to choose between these Get players that, for the enough, entire that tournament, red? and Quite. this match is really showing that. Well, this is this is a tough one, and it's got to go in. Otherwise, Ken Doherty is going to have a chance. This is tough. This is really tough. Here we go. It's there. What He's a pot. Well to put that one in. What a pot. And now this brown. Lots of top spin. Straightforward pot there. We look like we're in cruise control here. Thirty two points the lead. Not an absolute mile away from winning this frame and match and championship. But still need to respect what can go wrong here. So I'm just going to play another little cannon here. Not quite as hard this one, just a little controlled cannon into the four. That's good. 46. That's very good, in fact. So, 40 points to lead. Just need to make sure we get onto the black here. Perfect. Couldn't have played that the any better. The play here is absolutely superb. This should be an easy shot. <laughs> so okay. The fifties up. Gonna have to play a little cannon here. Straight. Could have went wrong. There. Fifty-five. It's okay. We can pop the blue. It's not perfect. <laughs> Certainly not perfect. Right. Just need to drop this in. No heroics. Yeah, blues in. 60. So, 54 points in front, 67 on the table. This red and the black would be enough. I don't know if we've hit this hard enough, you know. We must have. It's there. 61. And just this black required. <laughs> We've done it. Wow, well, what a brilliant break this has been. After the way we lost it in the last one, it's another decider. Another decider that didn't actually happen in real life. But we forced uh, forced it into a decider. That's a good 69. red. Now I don't know if we're going to be able this to get the, the Tony. It would be, with be nice if we could, but for. I'm not too bothered if we don't manage it. Straightforward pot there. Yeah, I just sort of assumed this red would pass, but I don't think it does. Well, I have to play a, a little can, uh, a little plant here, and this is far from easy. If this goes in, it's a cracker. Oh, really it has done. showing his talent there. What a shot! What a match, ladies and gentlemen.
An incredible display of snooker, as good as you'll ever see. Drag shot onto the blue, get the cue ball back a little bit. Perfect. 82. Absolutely perfect. Now then, got to work out how on earth I get this red into play. And potentially screw back, get onto the blue. It's the way. He's done well to put that one in. Mm, not good. I think it's fair to say that this match will be going down in the pages of history. Play this with a, a lot of bottom and left hand side and try and swing it round towards that red. Blues in. We're not on. 88. This. What we can do though is play the cross double and hope that the cue ball moves before the red comes back. Oh, it's close! Oh, that was close. That was so close. So, no century break, but we have beaten Ken Doherty by 18 frames to 17. Wow, what a series it's been. Thank you very much for your support. Leave a like. I think we deserve Please it for that one. Congratulating our runner-up, Ken Darty. Your winner and the new world champion, Mark J. Williams. And there we go. We've done it. Mark Williams' his second world title. And he lifts it above this wonderful Crucible crowd. And there you go, we've done it once again. Williams becomes the 2003 world champion. You've unlocked a video. So let's have a little look at that video. That'll be the final thing that we do in this series. And it really has been brilliant. It's not earned me anything. So much copyright because of tiny little snippets of videos. But uh, I'm not really bothered about that. You know, I've just really enjoyed coming back to this game. It's It's got a certain charm about it that, that's always made me want to go back to it. But uh, my favourite snooker game of all time still remains um, World Snooker Championship 2005 and we'll be getting into that uh, in the next uh, video, snooker video that you see on the channel. So let's have a little look at Mark Williams versus Ken Doherty in 2003. Uh, the most relaxed man in the Crucible Theatre, or so it seems, but inside, okay. he will be absolutely delighted. 77. When Williams led 10-2, it seemed as if he might even win with a session to spare. Oh, oh, <laughs> the blue finishes oh, on the floor, but that doesn't matter. Mark Williams clinches the title with a break of 77. Mark Williams beats Ken Doherty by 18 frames to 16 to win the £270,000 first prize and win the World Championship for the second time. Well, there you go then. What a video that was. Probably copyrighted just for that little snippet there. But hey-ho, if you've enjoyed it, if you've enjoyed the series, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more snooker content, much more snooker content in the future. We'll be doing career modes on pretty much all of the old snooker games, um, hopefully before a new snooker game comes out next year. Uh, and hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.